Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you something that I've been putting off for the longest time. I really need to just restyle my wardrobe ready for the new season. So we're well into spring now, almost into summer and this is something I've been putting off for so long just because I thought it was going to be such a massive job and actually it's really therapeutic and it's a really really good way to go through your wardrobe get inspired again and that's exactly why i want you to do this as well just rearranging just that little bit um to just inspire you to some of those clothes that might be stuck on a shelf somewhere or might be hanging somewhere out of sight and normally out of sight means out of mind so this is what my room looked like when I first came in and you can see why I've been putting it off for so long because I've got a lot of areas that are for folding. They can just naturally become messy over time because of where you're taking out items and then lifting up another one. Um, so as you can see I need to do a lot of folding here. So the first thing that I did was over in this section just to your right and I went through all of my shoes. So most of these shoes you can see have been really well worn. They've got the toes missing on some of them and to be honest with you I've held on to some of them for quite a while thinking that it's okay because I'll, I'll get a new pair soon and I'll, I'll get some more wear out of them I'll put some pen on the front of them which I've done quite a few times because it's actually a good little hack to make your shoes go that little bit further but what I did is I went through all of my shoes and the ones that I needed to actually it was about time for me to get rid of them I did so so I put those to the one side and then I had a basket just sitting above those shoes which had all of my sandals in so what I had been doing because I didn't have enough space is I have been switching out the sandals for some different shoes but what I did this time is because I was able to get rid of some shoes had a little bit more space so now I am able to display the shoes that I want to and I've just got some flip-flops then just in a basket above. A nice way to organise these as well is by sort of event or, or, or how you would wear them so I've got most of my boots and my darker colour items down at the bottom and then I know that if I need a specific type of shoe, if I need a closed shoe or if I need a sandal for example, I know exactly where I'm going to look. So it doesn't take too long to do that, it's just placing them in one position when you open up your doors. You can then see that I have colour coded my heels then, so I don't have many heels anymore, I used to have so many heels but I'm finding that I'm only reaching for my nude heels and then black heels and actually I don't know when the last time that I wore a pair of heels was apart from today I've popped a pair on for you today so yeah so I've got all of those in nice order it just makes things nice to look at Another tip as well for being inspired by your wardrobe is actually when you're placing all of your items back to place them in colour blocks. I work a little bit differently um, and I'll show you how I do that in a second when we get over into those areas. So what I needed to do next was to take a look at this rail behind me and basically pull everything off because I tend to put things behind here because it's a great little storage space <laughs> uh, because all of my clothes that would be here in the winter they're quite bulky items so they kind of hide the things that are behind it so it's a good little excuse for me to when I've taken them off I think oh my goodness what's behind here now and then go through that and anything that I need to get rid of I do so that was one of the first things that I did and I just took everything off of the rail and just placed it onto the chairs and onto the floor. What's a good tip then is if you are sort of stuck for space, so I've only got this one hanging rail here in the house for me, I take all of the coats that I know I 100% am not going to be wearing this summer, so they're my really thick sort of teddy coats and the fluffier type of coats and I've got a suitcase in the attic that not go on holiday so I managed to fold them up, place them inside and they go up there out of the way until it's time for them to come down again. So nothing goes back on the rail yet at this point. What I did then is that I take all of my items out from the shelves and just start making sort of three piles. So a get rid of it, um, it's got holes for example and nobody's going to be able to fix it. Um, or want it then I get a donate 
pile to see if anybody else would like the items and because I do this so frequently now I, I had sort of two items in the donate pile and three items to throw away so my my <laughs> if you watch my previous sort of wardrobe organization video from a long time ago um we very much <laughs> condensed the wardrobe um yeah so that's a really good tip is is a throw away a donate and actually you could have a put away pile if you're going to put some things in the attic but then you want a pile where you're going to keep so things that really inspire me and that i want to sort of pull out and think oh i could wear that this spring summer i place those in one pile because i'm going to put those on the rail so anything that i think i would wear or i would like to wear um, they go in a pile to be hung up so this pile gets bigger and bigger and bigger and you can go through that later if you haven't got enough hangers like what happened to me and then anything else that's left you just fold it and place it away and the way that I like to fold things is so that you've got um, a rounded edge of a material on the end just so everything sort of looks nice so you haven't got sort of seams or edges here a great tip for organizing is to put like items together so down here we have got jeans all in one place and as I said if you wanted to have those in color coded sort of order then that's really aesthetic to look at and you get a bit more inspired by your wardrobe then I have got trousers that are sort of wide leg trousers and then above that then I've just got a pile of trousers that I tend to wear for work and to the left of that then I've just got a small area of shorts so anything that's sort of here are items that I'm probably not going to be wearing this season that are sort of not inspiring me at the moment but still need to be there so because when I hung up those inspiring items on the rail I did run out of a little bit of space. I've just placed some, a pile of items here that I could still grab because I do actually want to wear them. Yeah, so here are tops and dresses. And so I've got one dress that I might quite like to wear and some tops here that I might like to wear too. And then as you can see then, jumpers, cardigans up out of the way because I'm not going to really be using those but I have placed <laughs> my sort of white ones on the top there just in case they might look quite nice sort of over um, the top of a dress or something if I do get a little bit chilly then my bag's up here purely because my kitchen is obsessed with playing with this and we don't want her to be scratching and over this side here then I've just basically refolded things so I've got a sort of loungewear area and a workout area there and right at the top then I have scarves and padded jackets so those didn't quite fit in my suitcase I don't need the room up there so that's fine they can stay exactly where they are but now let's get on to the rail and I'll show you exactly what we've got going on here this rail here then does have some organization to it so just over on this end i have my dressing gowns over here so they're nice that they're hung and some are shorter some are longer and thicker for when we've got colder days and then i kind of go into i've got my belts here hung up which if i'm honest with you i don't tend to wear all of these belts i could get rid of quite a few of them i only tend to grab this one my black one i do need a nice like a thicker brown belt in my collection as well though and then i've got some coats that i might be likely to wear this is the only place that i have for them so i've got sort of short coats blazers that i've kind of done by color that you can see here and then a thin mac as well then i've got another thin coat here so if it's raining it's quite nice to pop those over the top and again some jackets and some blazers just all sort of in this area here kind of with a little bit of a color code going on and then we get to this area in the middle so this area here now as i said this is kind of like my inspiration um area so as i'm looking at this what you want to do is you want to be able to shop your own wardrobe which is what you've done basically when you've been going through your items and adding things to a pile thinking oh yeah I might like to wear that so this here then is all of the trousers and the skirts that I could pair with an item and the reason that's important to have those all together here is 
if you're planning out your outfits or if you are um, in a rush in the morning you know you want to if you've got to grab a top you know that's here and you want a specific color it's right there then you need to know that your trousers and your skirts are here so that's where you're going to go to next you don't want to be flicking through every single individual item so that's this area i've then got um some tops here some stripy tops that i like um, and then we've got some long sleeve kind of shirts then we've got some just a bulk of white items that are tops here that I can throw over the top of a dress or that I can pair with a pair of jeans or trousers and in the summertime I kind of like to tuck in just a basic white tee into a skirt as well and this section here are either vests that I need to wear underneath some clothes or like slips or they are vest tops so we've got just my paler colour vest tops here and then some darker colour vest tops here and as I said some of these are like wardrobe solutions so if you've got a dress that's a little bit more sheer and you need to really cover up underneath if something's not double lined then it's really good just to have a few hanging up ready to go so that for example um, I think this one is it's either yeah H&M this one it is so this is just a really nice slip that's a nice length if you've got a dress on that kind of covers everything up really glossy and nice to feel against the skin as well and then some kind of brighter tops here that I didn't quite want to sort of put in between here because I kind of liked the nude and the white um, so we've got just a few tops here and then we go on to my dresses here and I'd actually like to expand my little dress collection um, because I have got rid of loads over the years yeah so we've just got some dresses here some nice shirt dresses a couple that are kind of vest type um, a really pretty um, this I don't wear this enough actually but this is really pretty it sits on the arms here and yeah just wash um yeah so some more dresses here and then right on the end here apart from my little basket bag that's hiding away down there and um, i have got some cardigans that would go with these items so they're not necessarily really thick cardigans um, but they're ones that if it's a cooler evening then I can just grab that and go and know that it hasn't got loads of folded creases in it because we know that we shouldn't really hang our knitwear because um, if they're heavy they pull on the shoulder areas but yeah I'm making an exception just for these items because just because I know I will grab them then underneath my clothes I've just got a few pairs of nude sandals that would go nicely with the outfits and some accessories here that I can just grab and just go with. So when you're making decisions about what to keep and what to throw away, I would say really think about how long haven't you worn the item and when you envisage yourself in a certain style, in a certain way, like the best way that you can, would you be wearing said item and that's what I've had to do with quite a few of my items over the years is think oh yeah it's quite nice for kind of like one event maybe but it's not really my style anymore then it shouldn't be in my wardrobe anymore so it actually might be somebody else's style so that's why you can donate it and just think when you are shopping your own wardrobe here it's, which is what you're going to be doing every single day if you've got kind of like an inspiration reel for the rest of it it's really nice to come in and just see everything folded and looking nice and aesthetically pleasing. Everything's got its place and the reason it's set up like this is because it makes it easier for yourself. So like I said, I know where my tops are, where my cardigans are and where my trousers are so I can grab each individual item. And we're all for making our mornings a lot easier. My last tip would be when you are actually sorting through everything Make sure that you've got some nice music on in the background or an inspirational podcast and also that you're wearing comfortable clothes. I really hope you got a few tips from here today but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.